A few weeks ago, we told you about a recall election in Eden, Oklahoma, where a group of the town's residents are trying to get a white supremacist off its city council. Judd Blevins was elected last year, but after revelations surfaced, he took part in the march on Charlottesville, where men holding tiki torches chanted, Jews will not replace us. The town is getting a chance to reconsider. Joining us now from Enid, Oklahoma, NBC News senior reporter Brandy Zadrozny. So, Brandy, you've been reporting on this. You've been reporting on how the women who are leading this charge have had to meet in secret, how there are real threats to their safety. What's happening today, and, and what are the expectations of the town? Yeah, hi, Katie. We are in front of a polling place right now. We've been watching people go in and out all day, and they are deciding whether or not they should remove Judd Blevins. Um, what we're seeing is, is a mix. We are seeing some people who support Judd Blevins, who say he made a mistake, he deserves a second chance, he's been a pretty good city councilman. But I would say the prevailing um, wisdom here is that people are telling us they didn't know or they didn't know the full extent of his organization with white nationalists before he was voted in. And a lot of people are saying that they never voted before or that they didn't vote in the last election that seated Judd Blevins, but they are coming out to send a strong message now that he does not belong in office. So you try to get answers from Blevins on his support of white nationalism, on the march in Charlottesville. Were you ever able to get any answers from him? So I uh, tried to talk to him after a city council meeting um, last month. That did not go so well. Um, but I actually did run into him today. He was holding a sign on the side of the road and had a little off-camera chat with him. Um, he said that he is willing to respect the voters' wishes, that he trusts them and thinks he will be elected again, but that he's willing to step aside and not run again should he lose today. You know, he was at a forum last week where he told residents of Enid that he did march in Charlottesville, he admitted it and said that he um, would do it again, that he went to defend history. He also talked a lot about um, white grievance, how he said there was anti-white hatred in the media and entertainment. Um, so that's how he's defended his position. He also did say that he is against any form of racism. Um, what about the women who started this campaign, the, the two, uh, I believe they're grandmothers that you were able to speak with, how are they doing? Um, Connie and Nancy are doing well. Nancy is a poll worker at a different location, so she is doing her civic duty there. Um, Connie, we just ran into. We actually got her voting today. So they're doing well. We're going to meet up with them later at uh, Jezebel's, a local tea shop, to have a watch party and see um, if all of their hard work has uh, come to fruition. All right, Brandy Zadrozny, we're going to watch the polls to find out what happens. Brandy, thank you very much. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on Get or the Cloud icon and enjoy it.